So the birding industry is huge in this area. The Kirtland's Warbler attracts people to come from many countries to come see the species. So if we were to lose that, uh, there's an economic loss, uh, uh, an experience loss, a number of different things that would be lost if it were to go away. The jack pines are regularly cut uh, in order to create new habitat the Kirtland's Warbler likes. Specifically, they like young jack pine trees that are uh, between just four and, and 20 feet tall that have the overlapping branches to, so that they can hide that nest underneath. So they have to regularly turn that habitat over. Right now, the Kirtland Warbler management blocks are set up on a 50-year rotation and approximately 1,560 acres on state land is uh, scheduled to be harvested each year to, pr to provide that habitat. The habitat will uh, peak out at approximately 10 years old and then it'll gradually start to taper off. After about 20 years, uh, 25 years, the birds are no longer using the, the trees anymore. But then the forest is starting to provide habitat for other types of species. So for instance, a spruce grouse or something like that would be then using that habitat as the, the forest continues to change. It's not just about the Kirtland's warbler though. It's, it's about the entire habitat. Uh, there are lots of species that use that habitat. So it, it, keeping that habitat healthy is critically important for the future of not just the Kirtland's warbler, but a whole bunch of species. As endangered species biologists working for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, you know, our mission is to conserve and protect those species for our future generations. You know, what's out there now is only out there now, and if we ever lose it, it's gone forever. And it's part of this unique ecosystem. Kirtland's warbler is only one species out there that represents this large jack pine ecosystem that we were close to losing. Uh, and we were able to bring it back um, through the habitat management, through cowbird control. Um, the people love it. I mean, you see how many people come up here to go to a festival for Kirtland's Warblers. They go on tours to see Kirtland's Warblers, and that's why they're coming to this area. See, so you have this local boom to the economy and the local community of people coming up to see this pretty unique bird that doesn't occur pretty much anywhere else except for these small few areas of, of northern Michigan and Wisconsin and Ontario. Uh, of course, it's, it's a conservation-reliant species. We can't walk away. We're always going to be managing for this species, just like we manage, manage for lots of others, but we are realizing that there are ways that we can adapt and provide some additional benefits to, to other values and other species. Mm -hmm.